Hey everyone, David here from The Five and Dime, and I wanted to show a blend that I did with silk mineral paint, and I used the colors prickly pear and white cap. But as always, got to start off with getting your prep work done, which started off with removing the hardware, and then giving it a good clean with Dixie Bell's White Lightning. White Lightning degreases and deglosses the surface, and the one thing to make sure is make sure you do rinse it well with clean water afterwards so that there's nothing left, no residue left, that'll obstruct paint. Next step is to give the whole surface a good scuff sand to make sure that I have something that the paint will adhere to. So make sure that after you finish doing your scuff sand that you give it a good wipe back with a damp microfiber cloth to remove any of the dust. So again, a scuff sand is not to remove the finish altogether. It's just to give it something, a little bit of teeth for your paint to grip onto. I taped off the glass on this door just to prevent any tape or any paint from getting on top of it. And then I was ready to start painting. And I'm going to start with my deepest color, which in this case is the prickly pear from the Silk Mineral Paint line. Because Silk Mineral Paint has the built-in top coat and primer, you don't use water with it like you would with your chalk mineral paint. So the blend is a little bit trickier. Um, not impossible, but I would say that it is definitely a little bit trickier. So I'm going to lay down my base of the prickly pear, and then I'll start blending in my color while the two of them are wet. And I start blending from the very first coat. I did use two separate brushes for the two different colors. So again, prickly pear, and then I'm going to introduce the color white cap into this. And this was actually a little bit of a pink blend that I'd done on a previous project. So it was a white cap and prickly pear mix. So it is a, just a very lighter tone of the same pink. And again, while the paint was wet, I started doing a blend and using the two separate brushes going working back and forth. And this is more of an ombre blend, meaning it's not your traditional, you know, swirling, cloudy blend. This was worked back and forth so that I would get the two colors mixed together well. And I think it actually turned out really well. I followed the same process on the door and the drawers that matched up to the blend that was happening on the base. One of the challenges that you can find with using silk mineral paint is that if you overwork the paint, you'll get pull marks at where you can really see where the paint is starting to dry and what it does is it actually pulls the paint in a direction so you get these weird lines. They're not exactly brush strokes. It's almost like you've pulled dry paint across the piece. So I had to work very quickly to make sure that nothing was drying and I think it turned out pretty good. I let this dry completely overnight and then came in and did a second coat and it worked out wonderfully. All right, there's more to come yet, so stay tuned. Ciao for now.